We don't want to create problems to boxers, but we must be correct, you know. We have two, two guidelines, two categories, men and women. So, let's start, because we talk about women, let's protect women. That means, women's category must be only women. Only. I think you agree. If you not agree, let's change the category. And we give another name, mixed category. Everybody in his life, he can do what he wants in his bed, in his home. But here we talk about sport. Yes, everybody is free to make sport. But in one competition, means two categories. Women's sport and men's sport. Now, before some days, I hear, I listen that uh, we don't know exactly what means woman. Please, no possible that. No possible that. I hear in my life until now 5,000 operations. I don't know how many babies. I know what they have the babies. <laughs> no possible somebody, no doctor, to say we don't know what is woman. Okay, if you don't know, Ask one doctor, but let the doctor speak. Um, I will point out that the president of the Italian Boxing Federation indeed hasn't been happy with previous results. And I would like to say that the, um, in this instance, there was questions raised by the Italian Federation prior to her bout that took place. So in this instance, the, uh, the situation from my perspective, it has been raised and has been brought forward but with the actions of the, uh, the Italian boxer in the ring. Um, difficult because both boxers have worked extremely hard towards their own goals and of course we find ourselves in this difficult situation now, particularly uh, Iman Khalif who steps through to the next stages uh, and is hoping to win uh, Olympic gold. We in IBA uh, understand the difficulties that this has brought about uh, for the whole tournament and it's, uh, it's never been our uh, intention to bring any of this about. Of course, uh, what you see is uh, the, the actions of uh, the boxer in the, uh, with, in the Italian boat uh, with Aman Khalif and then further to that, the reason why we're sat here. So, there's some uh, brief facts, a, a brief going over as to where we are in that current situation. Uh, we've got the administration to support that. What I will say is, is that we're not able to disclose uh, the results of any tests, but you can uh, read between the lines where that sits. And of course, uh, what I'd also like to mention here is that uh, yesterday evening and this morning we've received letters from the NOCs in Chinese Taipei and uh, Algeria respectively inform us that we can't disclose any information pertinent to either boxer. So we've had that information through um, uh, early hours this morning and this morning. So you can see what that means. So again, uh, read between the lines. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not in a position to show any results, um, but uh, from our perspective, IBA's eligibility criteria that sits within the technical and competition rules um, has been pushed across the IOC uh, and they have that uh, information already.